this is a lesson on patterns in charts. So, um, a pattern rule describes the pattern, and a, pa a position pattern describes how the pattern looks. To describe the pattern, explain where the pattern begins and how it gets to the next number. Now, just in case this made no sense to you, um, let's look at this example here, and it should clear things up a little bit. So we've got a hundreds chart here, and I know it's a hundreds chart because it starts at 1 and ends at 100 and counts on um, by 10 in each row. But what we're looking at is how it's shaded. So it's only partway shaded, but um, it's enough for us to describe a pattern. So we can see that um, the first number that's shaded is 2, and then a 5, and then an 8, and then 11, 14, 17, 20, 23. So there's two ways that we could we could describe this pattern. We could describe it based on the numbers that we see, or we could describe it based on the pattern that we see um, in the in the I guess the way that boxes are shaded, not really looking at the numbers a whole lot. So one is, one gets a lot more wordy than the other. So the easy way to do it, I guess with a less the less wordy way would be to say where you start and and how many you count on by so this one is consistent you you have a shaded and then two not shaded a shaded two not shaded and so on so you start at two would be the pattern rule start at two and count on by one two three one two three one two three you count on by three so every third box is going to be shaded Okay, now the other option is to explain how it's shaded just looking at the boxes mostly. So you still say that you start at 2, um, and then, and then uh, this is how I guess it's written, as the start diagonal. So they're going diagonal. The colored squares lie along every third diagonal. The diagonals go one down, one left. So that's just one way to describe it. You could say start at 2 uh, and then go down di diagonal, uh, 1 down, or 1 to the left, 1 down. Um, but you'd also have to say that you have to go every third diagonal. So it's it's pretty complex, but um, the, the first pattern rule is pretty simple. Uh, what you need to do next is shade in the rest of the chart based on the rule. So um, what you should do is pause the video and fill this in. I'm going to pause the video and fill it in as well so that you don't have to sit there and watch me do that for four minutes. Um, and then we'll return with each other. All right, so yours should have something that looks like this. Um, you'll notice that although this pattern rule was easier to write, uh, the position pattern rule um, was what I used especially and what you probably used to color it in. Like you didn't count one, two, and then three, and then one, two, three, you probably just looked, okay, well, it's diagonal, so I'm just going to color 32, 41 here. I'm just going to color this straight line, and so on. Um, the only part that I really used the pattern rule with the numbers was where when I needed to figure out that this 50 and this 80 needed to be colored in. So it's interesting that way. Uh, next, what we need to do is, whoo, Figure out the pattern rules and then complete the charts based on the rule we found for practice one and practice two. So um, we can do practice one together if you're not sure. If you think you've got it, then please pause the video and try it on your own. But um, if you need to see another example, then follow along with me. All right. So the first one, practice one, has, let's see, our first number that is... Um, shown is a 6. So, um, we will we will tell that the pattern starts at 6. So, start at 6. Period. Okay, now this one wants a position rule. which is going to be really hard. So we're going to turn this into a pattern rule here. Pattern rule. So change yours. So start at 6, and then we just need to say see what the pattern is. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, and then on the seventh one it goes, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well I've counted four, so I think it's safe to say that uh, we start at six and count on by seven. seven and there's our pattern rule um, now what it wants us to do is to continue the pattern rule on so we've got, we ended at 41 so one two three four five six seven right here one two three four five six seven 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be this one and just repeats itself after. So many. Okay. So that should be it. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'm right about that one. Okay, so that you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more boxes filled in as well. So that's funny. Um, now the practice too, if you haven't already finished it, please pause the video and try it on your own. Um, and if you have finished it, then follow along with me and see if you got the right answer. So the first shaded number is a 1, so we will say start at 1. At 1. Alright, now we need to count. And sometimes it's not always going to be the same, I don't think. Uh, so we just need to check to make sure. So we start at 1, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, I see a pattern here. Start at 1. Count on by... Okay, so um, when you're writing pattern rules, you always have to say where it starts and how it continues. So start at mm, and then count on by mm. And that's basically what you need to do. Um, I know you don't have the number page number on your sheet, so make sure you write this down. Um, the textbook assignments on page 8 and 9, and then you're going to do numbers one, 1 to 5, 